Hello everyone, this is Mike Kittner from 360 Heroes and we're going to go over using uh, Camman and ingesting using the multi-port cards uh, readers. We have a 13-port a reader and we also have a 10-port reader. Um, we're going to go through each one of the different features of that by showing how to do it with just one card and then we'll show you the power of, of using the multi-port readers um, and what you can get all, all that stuff online. So to start off, what we're going to do is we're going to bring up 360 Cam Man. And when Cam Man comes up, we have some different areas. We have the workflow tools, uh, which will tell you how to drive a sign, do formatting, copying, and managing takes. Then we also have conversion and video tools, where we can convert uh, different options, merge videos, as well as build 3D content, optimize the videos, and do some video sync. Then the last part is we also have a training section where all these uh, training videos are actually located. So to start off, what we want to do is use uh, Camman here. And I'm going to show you how we're going to ingest data using the different cards uh, as we go to load them into the computer. So if you notice when I expand this out here a little bit, um, the first thing we want to do is select the... the uh, the actual camera system that we're using. So we're using a Pro 6 um, 360 Heroes rig. And uh, from here, we right now I have everything all plugged in so we can actually see all that data. But if I want, I can actually unplug each one of these cards. And notice as I unplug the, the data, uh, they automatically start disappearing um, from the list. Now, if I would like, if I want to start copying data, let's say, I can copy data in from one card at a time. So if I bring in one particular camera card, I can see the data that's on this one particular card. And I can see the videos that are there, and I can also see the photos that are uh, there as well. So I can kind of match them up uh, indirectly or I can use the multi-card format. So I'm going to plug in the second card, and I'm going to use multi-cards and hit configure. And then when I plug in the second reader into the kit, it shows me the, the second uh, camera pops up, which happened to have been camera five. And I'm going to plug in all six of these. And notice when I, as I go to plug them in, um, it knows based upon the, the card labels how to assign them to the camera number. So even though the drive letters do not match up correctly uh, for each one of them, or this might be out of order, uh, the drive labels get lined up uh, for each one of the cameras. So now if I go to copy in the data, I've got, I'm going to use multi-cards, and when I went to do this, if I scroll this out here all the way, you can see that for each card and drive, it shows you the videos, and it also shows you the photos as well. So we can ingest them both uh, directly from the cards. So uh, the first scenario is, is we'll just do um, video copy first using multi-cards. So we're going to create a particular project here. We'll call it uh, test input videos and hit OK. And now we will uh, ingest all these cards at once. And we'll do all six of them. So we'll very quickly let it uh, burn through this really fast. And you can see we're copying in about 90 megs a second. And the reason why we're copying it at 90 megs a second is we're using a USB 3 reader as well as USB 3 um, 10 port hub. So we're getting the maximum throughput on each one of those hubs. And the cards happen to be uh, 90 megabyte uh, per second cards. So we're getting the maximum throughput that these particular cards uh, are able to receive. So as you can see, we're, we're copying in all six uh, at the exact same time. So as it looks through, it's looking for a particular card, and then it's trying to find that particular card uh, within the list. 
And if you take a look here on the screen, you can see how each one of the cards are actually loaded and we're ingesting them all. Now, you, you don't have to use this particular reader. You can use a 13 port reader, which we also have for sale on our website as well. Or you can do it uh, individually, or if you have multiple or other types of reader ports, um, you can uh, plug them in as well. But these particular readers, uh, I'm very happy with them because we, we've tested several dozen. Um, they do get warm, but uh, they're very reliable in the field, and, and that's what's uh, most important in reference to what we're doing. And uh, the other thing that's really nice is we're getting, we're getting uh, 82 megs a second. Now, if you try to use the different GoPros directly, um, I don't recommend that uh, for a couple reasons. One, the Hero 3, you can get at the drive on the Hero 3, but with the Hero 4s, they're using a different type of camera system for connection, which I'm going to show you here in a second, so that you can't drive copy them. Um, also, the USB ports on these particular devices are only USB 2 versus USB 3. So with the USB 2, you're only getting maybe 12 to 20 megabit uh, throughput. But if you unplug the cards individually, um, you can get the full 90 uh, throughput. So now that we've imported that data, we're going to go to Manage Takes and actually open the Video Analyzer. We can see the data that we've actually just copied in. And we had three takes um, in this particular set. And if we were missing a particular take, it would immediately tell you here. Or in the full listing, if you had the GoPro cameras uh, programmed incorrectly, it would instantly show you here as well. So if I look at the folders here, as the folder gets ingested, we can see that under the test video screen here, if I go to details, you can see how we labeled them. So we labeled it camera head one, camera one, and then the NA here is the 3D, so that might be left, right, or in this place it's not applicable. Our project name and the original GoPro name. Now, when we go to rename this particular file, if you watch here, I'm going to now move it to takes. It takes that data and moves each one of these to their new locations, and then also appends the take number to the beginning of the file as well. So if I look in details, um, I can actually see how those files are coming together. All right, um, hold on one second. Okay, so now that's how using the multi-camera ports uh, ingesting all the cards at the exact same time. So now let's do the same process again, but only do one card at a time. So I'm going to remove all of these cards from the system, and if I go back to here and look at Drive Assign, you're going to see me moving each one of these files out. And I'm just going to start with camera one. So now I'm going to restart the copy process, but I'm going to use um, a single card to do this. And here I can grab, grab what um, card number that I'm going to do. And we're going to create a new one here, and we're going to call it test input single card. All right. Now let's start ingesting the data based on single card input. So when I uh, input the data, we're going to say automatically start. So it's going to copy in the first card that we see from the system. And once that's done, you can see how fast that went through there. Now it's looking for card two. So I'm going to unplug card one. And I'm going to find card two in my list here. And we're going to load card two in. And as soon as I load card two and it recognizes that it seeks card two, it automatically starts ingesting the data for card number two. Okay. So again, I'm just shuffling one card at a time. And now I'm going to, as you can see here, I'm just going to unplug card number two. And I'm now going to plug in card number three. 
And as soon as that recognizes that that proper card is loaded, it starts ingesting one the next card. Now, again, you, you can do it one card at a time, or you can do multiple cards. As you can see, the multiple cards is much, much easier uh, for ingesting the data. And now we'll load number four. And again, the, you don't have to have a multi-port reader to do this. You can be using the card slot or another USB slot uh, right off the computer. Um, as you can see here, let me put in card number five because that's what that's looking for now. What we can also do is our readers that we have, uh, we sell these I think for $8 online. You can just plug them into any port and then we have a micro SD slot as well as a standard SD slot uh, for ingesting uh, the data um, in individually. And then we're almost down to the last card. Put in card number six. And it's looking for the last part of the cards. And that's pretty much it. So we've kind of reviewed how to use the multi-card reader as well as the single card reader. And that's for importing uh, videos. Okay, so that is how you import information in using multi-card reader or single card reader. Stay tuned, we'll show you how to do it with photos.